Miss Smith has been making these awesome virtual field trips since, of course, we are not going on any field trips right now. And she made one for Mars, which I think is really, really neat. Um, this is kind of what, or this is what the home screen looks like um, when you go to it. Um, some of my favorite things I was just on here um, exploring a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear my dog. He's crying right now. Um, uh, you can click this link and it'll take you, this one at the top, it'll take you to the Mars Perseverance rover, which is a, um, rover that's going to launch in July of this year. And its main mission is to look for signs of life on Mars, which I think is super cool. If there's ever been any life on Mars, I know that that's been a big question. Um, we even studied it a little bit this year. <laughs> My dogs are going crazy. Um, another link that I really liked, um, just to tie in, because I know um, when we think about outer space, it's more science oriented. But um, there is also this place right here. Ooh, sorry. There's also this place right here, and it is write a poem about space. So if you go to this website, um, it gives you the steps to write your poem. So step one is to think about space. Step two, get inspired. And it has some different other, or some things that you could think about to get inspired. <laughs> um, and then it says, choose your poem style. And this is probably my favorite part because it'll show you the different types of poems, like an acrostic. Um, we did some acrostic poems for Veterans Day this year. That's where you take the first letter of, um, a word and you write a poem with it. So like you could take the first letter of space or each letter of space and write a word for it, like S-P-A-C-E. Um, and then there's just a bunch of different other types of poems on here that you could learn about and that you could write about. Um, so I thought that was a really neat thing on this virtual field trip, just to kind of uh, give you some poems to write about or something to write about. That, that was kind of neat to me. Um, one of my other, one of my, actually, one of my favorite places to go on this virtual website or virtual field trip is the NASA Safe Space Place. This website is super cool. It has all these games and information, um, about outer space. And one of my favorite, favorite places to go on here was um it's right here in the middle and it says how long is a is a year on other planets so when you think about other planets orbit some planets have a shorter orbit around the sun because they're closer to the sun and then some planets have longer orbits around the sun because they're further away like your outer planets so if you go here it tells you like mercury a year on mercury is 88 days while a year on neptune is 60,190 days so we wouldn't even be a year old on Neptune or anywhere close to it. I just think that's so wild to me. So maybe a good activity would you, for you would to maybe figure out what your uh, how old you are on Mars or Venus or Mercury. That could be a fun little thing for you to do, and I'd love to hear it too. Um, but anyways, there are a ton of links on here that would just provide you hours of fun and I really encourage you to go visit Mars. I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you soon. Bye!